the relationship of architecture and painting is such an old one and goes way back to cave painting, I would say. The way I like to think about it is more like a painting that has a relationship to the volume of the space rather than only the surface. And the movements in the volume of the space actually somehow land as a residue on the surface and that's then the painting. And therefore you only see a little bit of what actually took place as activity in front of the paintings. Every day I would discover different perspectives of the work according to how developed the work became. And that's fascinating because there is no one right way to look at it. You can't clearly say what was first and what was last. So it's like a compression of what has happened and what will happen into like a present moment. Painting has this ability to kind of undo causal relationships and be not logic but nevertheless coherent. I think that art is also um, a way to resist things. It's a sign of or an activity of resistance which is not necessarily resistance in a very um, clear sense which is I'm against this or that but it is the artists maybe function in society to do something that is not this architecture or that is not the functionality which is also the beauty of this specific building here but which is the other side of the possibility.